Hello, Veronica Spriggs here, and today I'm going to be showing you a really quick tutorial how to create a color palette using an image in Photoshop. So you have your pre-existing image that you grabbed from wherever you grabbed it, and you just love the colors like I do for this particular image here. You have beautiful pinks and blues and golds, and you want to translate that into a working color palette. Here's how you do it. The very first thing you want to do is go to image mode and then click on indexed color you can see here that my background has already been flattened if you're working on an image that is not flattened it's going to go ahead and ask you do you want to merge your layer so just say yeah to that okay click on indexed color now it's going to give you a drop down box and ask you some different things I forget what it's set at by default but I have mine checked on local perceptual and then here you can define your colors by default it would be 256 colors and it's going to ask you do you want to force any of the colors the black and whites the primaries or the web colors or any custom colors that you may want to choose in this case no I don't want to force any colors I don't want any transparency and I also don't really need any dithering so I'm gonna go ahead and check OK now you'll see that the image does have some some dithering and the pattern is a little bit um, compromised but that's okay because we're just going to be creating a color swatch and then we can change that back okay so now that we've done that we want to go back up to image mode and now if you scroll down you'll see that color table becomes available so that's what you want to click on color table now because you chose 256 you can see here that you have 256 colors that have been sampled from our image and that's perfect if you want to go ahead and save that you can do that and I'll show you how to do that in a few moments and then you'll have all these colors available to work with if that's a little too daunting and you want to tone it down some I'll show you how to do that also just click um, in this case I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to do anything with it okay so to change your color palette you actually need to index it again so I'm going to go back to uh, back up in my history panel to when I opened my original file and now I'm going to go back I'm going to go to image mode indexed color local perceptual and now I'm going to tell it how many colors I want so um, if I'm working on an image that I know is going to need um, quite a bit of colors, I could say, let's say I think um, 24 should be a good number of colors to work with. So I'm going to say OK. And then if I go to Color Table, you can see I've got 24 beautiful colors to work with. And I could go ahead and save that if that's exactly what I want. If I wanted to narrow it down a little bit more, I'll show you again how to do that. It's just the same process, only we're gonna choose a, no, a lower number. Indexed color. And this time we're going to pick 10 colors. And we're going to choose okay. And now we're going to go to image, mode, and color table. And now you have a really nice workable palette. It's not too overwhelming and all the colors blend harmoniously. And so I like that and I'm going to keep it. Now I'm going to save it. So you wanna click on save. And then you wanna choose a location that you're going to be able to find later and it's asking you can use this drop down here it'll ask is it'll by default save it as an ACT file or you could choose a PAL which is a Microsoft palette file but we're gonna go with ACT because we're going to be using this again in Photoshop and I'm going to call this neutrals although it's not exactly neutral I just don't know what else to name it 
and then click on save and then once you're done saving you click OK and now in order to load that color palette here's what we do we go over to our swatches panel and click on your drop down window and here you have a number of options that you can do you can reset your swatches load your swatches save swatches um, we're not going to save them from here because we haven't actually loaded any swatches here or you could save them for exchanging with someone or you could replace your swatches now I would choose either load or replace depending on what I want it to do in this case I'm going to show you both okay so I'm going to click right now on load swatches and then you can see here that it's asking you for an ACO file. We don't have any available, so I'm going to click on ACT, which is the file that I saved. And I'm going to click on Neutral, and then Load. And now you can see here are new colors that we chose from that we chose from our original image are now here in their own file. And they're loaded on top with the um, default colors that we had. So you have your default colors as well as the new color swatch that you added. And now I'm going to show you a different way. Now we're going to do reset swatches. And now it's asking do you want to replace the current color swatches with your default colors? And then choose yes I do. So say OK. And now you're back to your original default colors. So now I'm going to show you how to do that with replace. Now the replace is going to do just that. It's going to swap one color palette for another. So choose replace swatches and once again use the drop down to find ACT. Click on your neutral. Click load and there now you are able to work with just your um, new color swatches that you've chosen and you've got 10 colors here from your image. Now remember to back up to your original image and remove that indexing so that you can work on, if you wanted to work on this image, or you could go ahead and just close it out or what have you. But that is how you would um, access a new color palette. And if you wanted to save this as an actual ACO file, you would then just go to Save Swatches and then you can see here instead of saving it as an ACT it's going to save it as an ACO and you can um, name that and then load it into your default swatches folder in Photoshop so that it's available to you every time you want to open up some swatches so I would just name that neutral I think I misspelled it <laughs> and that's how you would do that so that's how you would create your own swatch and we're going to be using that in my very next tutorial so I figured I'd show you now I'll see you next time